Hey everybody, welcome back. Today it is all about cheddar brats versus hot dogs for winter pike fishing. As we all know here in the States, during the winter getting live bait can get tough. So we're gonna be testing these two out, see which one performs the best. So when that live bait gets tough to find, you have a proven method to catch these winter pike. Let's get fishing here and hopefully get some fish on the ice. Now you might already know that using hot dogs is a pretty effective method to catch pike in the winter. And if you haven't already, I made a video last season with my buddy Phoenix that I'll have right up here. But in short, we couldn't get our hands on live baits, so uh, Oscar Mayer hot dogs worked out as a great substitute method. But I've also heard rumors that brats, in particular the cheddar brats, are also a great method to catch some of these pike in the winter. So I thought it would be fun to pick up both from the local supermarket and put them head to head. Without further ado though, I'm gonna get our line set because uh, we've got great conditions, nice and warm out today, and also some prefrontal conditions, which is always a dynamite time to be out on the water fishing for just about anything. So gonna get our lines down and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, these hot dogs and brats work for us. So our first line we're gonna get set down there is gonna be the conventional Oscar Mayer hot dog. Now I already know these work based on our video last year. And I've also heard that the cheaper hot dogs are better. Unfortunately, those are kind of a hot commodity, at least in my area, because I could not find any. Fishing very shallow water. It's about all the deep I'm fishing, probably two and a half, three feet. We're gonna get our GoPro rig down there. We get our eyes on this hot dog, but we're gonna get that down there and hopefully get ourselves the first fish of the day. Now you notice I'm actually running a bait casting setup, which is something I just started doing this season and I've really been enjoying it. There's a couple of flaws you get with it, but for fighting the fish and getting good hook sets, it's pretty unbeatable. And the one thing I do when I use the bait caster is I don't put the rod in the rod holder. This is a very long rod. So what I do is I just set it off to the side and that usually works no problem. We'll get our gear out of here and in the shallow water so we'll give our flags a little bit of space. So both the lines are set. We have both the hot dog and the brat out there. We also have two GoPros that are gonna be recording at all times of what is going on underneath the ice. And for me, that's really interesting because of course, when you're trying something like this, there's always the chance that your time is wasted and you don't catch any fish. But by having those GoPros down there, that's gonna open up the opportunity for me to really see how these fish are reacting to this bait underneath the ice. And that's gonna be really cool to see if these fish avoid them entirely, if they're checking them out. It's gonna be interesting regardless of what happens to see how these fish interact with the hot dog and the brat. Well, I just checked the cameras for the very first time. That was pretty interesting. We've actually had not one, but two fish check out that cheddar brat. The one actually nipped at it a little bit. Nothing on the hot dog camera yet, which is a little unfortunate. Hopefully eventually something happens, but knowing that there's fish interacting with that bait down there is definitely a very positive sign. So hopefully very, very soon, one of these flags will pop and we can crank down on a nice size pike. At this point, we are a few hours into the brat versus hot dog challenge. And based on what I've seen, the fish are a lot more interested in this cheddar brat versus the hot dog. We've only had one fish look at this hot dog and it just kind of passed by a few times. Whereas the fish interacting with this brat have actually nipped at it, been much more aggressive towards that brat. But I know there's a lot of fish in this area. So now what I've done is I've actually dropped live bait down into both the exact same holes. And what that's gonna tell us is that's gonna tell us that these fish are just in a negative mood and not wanting to really eat anything or if they just aren't interested in eating a hot dog or a brat. So this is gonna tell us a lot. I dropped the live bait in, the GoPros are down. We're gonna play a waiting game, see how long it takes for one of these flags to pop, if a flag pops at all. Oddly enough, a snowstorm started. I'm not surprised they missed that fish because uh, I think the, the wind blew my line like back around the flag and it kind of tripped funny. So now my depth is all messed up too. We're gonna get our lines back down here, try to utilize the most time we can before the snowstorm really kind of makes things too difficult. Flag again. Feels decent. Feels like a good fish. I 
Yeah, not bad. Snow starting to come down. Not a bad one. Of course, we're looking for bigger fish, but that's two flags on the hot dog hole. Pretty safe to say they just did not want to eat that hot dog. Gorgeous fish, snow coming down. So freaking cool. Let's get this fish back in the lake. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of like changing my battery and the flag goes. I don't think there's a fish there anymore, but of course not. Man. Wow, it was terrible timing. Terrible timing. Oh, it's getting real difficult out here with this blizzard. I might have to call it quits here soon. Well, at this point, the snow is really coming down and it's making filming incredibly difficult and I don't really want to risk damaging any camera gear. But with that being said, today's little experiment uh, told me a lot. First of all, it told me that I don't really think that pike are gonna eat hot dogs and brats on this particular lake. However, if I was narrowed down to making that choice, I would definitely choose the cheddar brats because we actually had fish interacting with those brats, which was really cool to watch on the underwater camera. But it's so interesting to see how these fish react to different things underneath the ice. The live bait, they're just coming in and absolutely hammering it. With the, the still hot dogs or even dead bait, usually they kind of come in and they're a little bit more careful about picking that up. So it's always really interesting to watch the way fish interact. And that's one thing that I just love about having cameras down there and capturing underwater footage. But with that being said, we're gonna pack everything up. If you guys wanna see any more videos like this, leave them down below. If you aren't already, please subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.